Okay. I uh, will offer $100 uh, for the first who is going to build, build such a wind generator. Uh, $50 for the second and $30 for the third. And you have to upload two videos, so it's only half uh, the price for uh, demonstrating this to run uh, in the wind. Or if there's no wind, then, well, here you have uh, hall sensors, so you can drive it at 24 volts at full speed uh, to demonstrate that it's not breaking apart. And the second uh, video has to be a step-by-step -step, tutorial how to do this. And you see, I'm, I'm really frustrated about all these uh, hoverboard freaks, nerds, only with their stupid fun projects. And so I have this, these uh, blades already lying around for some time. Uh, these are one, 100 centimeters, so they are big oversized. So uh, at least uh, 50 centimeter blades or 60 centimeter blades uh, would, would be okay. Uh, because you see these um, can easily could generate 24 volt or 36 volt uh, instead of these 12 volt of these other cheats. And okay, um, you have to go into the commands and say, okay, I'm doing this and then you get a spot for seven days. So um, you only get the price uh, per, per PayPal. I will send the money per PayPal. Uh, go to comments, say I'm going to build it. And then within seven days, you have to upload at least one video. If you fail to, um, you lose a step. Uh, you, you lose your spot after seven days and then someone else can uh, claim uh, this okay so, so three people three comments don't really think anyone will do it because you're all brain degenerated consumers okay uh, so I uh, explain here what I have in mind and it has to be this setup uh, so so not just uh, some stupid um, wind generator with metal uh, steel here and, and soldering and drilling in holes and all this stuff and and so because the nice thing is you have six screws here so it's easily just to align the, the blades here uh, by the screws uh, i think that's enough yeah second nice thing is here if you just push it here to the uh, to the rim then you already have them all centered very nice and uh, then here if you uh, put uh, some some spacer here and you need some spacers underneath and you need a flat ground you see then it's all also everything leveled and you see here uh, say if you have here the, the the spacer on the on the back side uh, then it's also uh, leveling here uh, onto onto the, the rim so it's it's really just um, and, and, and then you need some epoxy and some roving to, uh, you see, I have lots of these sheets, but it could also, I think this would also be enough. It has to be some epoxy, some carbon glass fiber or, or uh, basalt fiber. Uh, here you have these screws. Uh, in this case, it's M10. Uh, you... Uh, with some uh, kitchen foil, so it's so that you can unscrew them, and so they really uh, are, are tight and and centered. Uh, I don't uh, uh, recommend to also insulate here, but maybe a, a little Kapton tape that you use to um, uh, to make uh, watertight the, the pipes watertight. Uh, here, just uh, because uh, the epoxy might be suck itself inside here, and then you cannot longer unscrew it here. Uh, you see, uh, it's it's going to stay forever. You see, if you drill in holes on the opposite, then you also have lost uh, the further use of this uh, motor. Uh, whereas here, you can still uh, cut uh, with the angle grinder it free, and 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 so. Just you see, and you have to do it um, in a repeatable way so that the weight is um, really um, get um, 
same weight on, on all the parts so you don't have uh, as less as that's why if you use these sheets you see you you would um, uh, need some I have some method to, to, to code them with epoxy equally and then same size and and so my idea was you see just first uh, one here upwards it's about what well, two centimeters going upwards and then with the carbon fiber uh, some 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 circling around so it's get here already uh, bent uh, to to right angle and then another sheet and then another roving uh, cycle and another sheet another really uh, five to, to ten ten sheets so it's really uh, going to be strong uh, I'm not sure. Maybe uh, you see, you could save here layers and then on the opposite uh, connect them to to, to the front, uh, and so this would be more stable if you have a, a sheet on the back side and uh, the front side. But that would need two steps, so two times epoxy. You see, uh, epoxy gets hard, and and so I, I guess it's better you know, ten ten. 10 layers of, of, of carbon or, or basalt fiber or glass fiber. And you see here, uh, this, if you put here the, the sheet over the holes, then uh, this will get uh, apart. So it's no longer really uh, um, perfect. And therefore, you also need here the fiber to really make the, 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 the hold of, of the uh, screws really uh, very tight. Yeah, it's here just in the end. Oh, that's my solar panel generating too much energy. Ah, this should stop now. Uh, sorry. Uh, here, it's simply the same, same distance, uh, all three. And then you see it's, it's very easy to... Uh, to, to put the blades in, in place uh, yeah you could also make a six blade uh, but you see if you have six blades yeah you have more torque so it's starting at low wind but you have uh, lower refs and lower refs uh, means uh, lower voltage and so you can no longer charge a 24 volt battery and so um, I think three blades is, is okay yeah so um, and it's not that much work I think it's the most economically and ecological, environmentally friendly way instead of steel, uh, so carbon and epoxy. And uh, so, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I, I, you see, I, I could do it in, with, uh, if in a few hours, but, but I have no happiness. You see, born loser and alone, you always lose. And that's... Uh, this idea of for Aina, uh, that's the Inventor Network for Africa. Inventor Network for Africa, that's for uh, ENA. Uh, this uh, is um, one of my beloved ideas, which as a born loser can, can never. Uh, so, uh, uh, to support uh, little uh, inventors inventors all over Africa which form a network that supports themselves and also for you see to getting this, uh, the, the blades from China also uh, shipping to, to Africa is <laughs> so if they all also for, form a delivery network and so this uh, uh, foundation uh, the idea is that you see um, there are up to 10 different um, machines to build like such a wind generator and and they get uh, if someone applies from Africa he will get all the stuff for free so the foundation will um, send him a, a big package with all the stuff and then he has uh, to build it and make a video and then there will be a Kickstarter so where he has proven that he can uh, do it and now he wants to make a small factory and, and sell it and therefore he needs a $10,000 uh, to, to start he, uh, this factory and I think if he already has uh, this uh, proven that he has, can, can build it and if he has the support of such a foundation it will be uh, very easy. So that's this idea of this inventor network for Africa and okay this is not uh, uh, directly targeted now for but uh, all to my uh, um, followers who are all brain generated consumers, consumers with their stupid fun projects uh, 
if you have a hoverboard motor to spare, uh, these you can buy them uh, for thirty dollar or forty, and you see they they, they will be better wind generators than this uh, one hundred plus things that you can buy from here. My my fridge is also from from them. Uh, yeah. Uh, you do not mm, really need uh, this, all, all the stuff behind because I have this idea that uh, this uh, uh, wing in the back uh, to, to is, is not really the best way because so these small wind turbines are all, all installed in very turbulent uh, conditions. So uh, it might be better to really uh, focus it to the main wind direction or make a little electric motor to, to turn it because... Uh, you see here uh, this uh, two, two over two meter diameter uh, and only 300 watt uh, electrical power. Uh, the, the electrical brake might not be able to stop uh, this uh, wind generator. Uh, okay, if you make a smaller one, it might be okay, and therefore you still might need uh, a, a, at least a motor to to steer it out of the wind. And so, but but you see for this 150 and, and 30 dollar. Uh, you can just, uh, it's all about here mounting this, so you can uh, just uh, here make a, a, a mast to, to, and, and to the main wind direction and, and you spin it with uh, the, the hoverboard controller. That's enough to demonstrate that this way of mounting uh, wind blades is, is the most easy and, and simple and uh, envir environmentally friendly one. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye and good luck.